Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari on Friday unveiled the book Lockdown Madhala Madha Shokti, written by a renowned social media analyst Ajit Parse. During the crisis of lockdown, social media not only maintained the hope of survival of the citizens but also maintained the confidence of many. Pars reflected these sentiments of the people on social media during the lockdown in his book. The book was released at Gurkhar's residence on Vardar Road. Researcher Dr. Hemant Jambekar and Ajit Parse were prominently present. During the lockdown, many were still at home, while some had relatives outside the country or city. Social media was a great way to bring family members together. Whether it is a moment or threshold of a relationship or citizens applauding efforts of frontline warriors during the pandemic on social media, Parse highlighted such issues in his book. Two members of a gang that had allegedly duped job seekers on the protest of getting them job in a prominent government institution were arrested from Belthorodi police said on Friday. Accused identified as Akshay Ashok Kumar Agarwal, a resident of flat number 10117, Rajit Apartment, Belthorodi, Himanshi Prakash Bhagwani, a resident of Siddharth Apartment, Rajeshinagar, Belthorodi, along with V. Sham Sundar, Naina Chelwani, and Gaurav Shir Sagar, all working at Crest Technology, have duped several job aspirants using fake job letters, government letter hairs, pamphlets, and siphoned cash, collectively over rupees 35 lakh 48 thousand. Following the complaint lodged by one Nikhil Mahendra Sahare, a resident of Kapur Keda, cops managed to arrest both accused Agarwal and Bhagwani. Police personnel perceive many job seekers have fallen prey to this deed of the accused and urged citizens to approach Beltori police with complaints in this regard. Chaos and tension prevailed in Ramdas Pet area and in its vicinity after a huge smoke started emitting from the premises of the ICICI bank. It was discovered by both commuters and residents of the locality on Friday. Though the exact reason behind the fire could not be ascertained immediately, no one was reportedly injured in this incident. Speaking to reporters, Chief Fire Officers of the Fire Department, Shirajendra Uchke, elaborated on the situation that initially a huge pile of smoke was observed by the ICIC bank officials and people in the vicinity. Following this sighting, the alerted fire department, acting swiftly on the input, one fire tender and some firefighters were soon pressed into service. The exact reason behind the fire and the extent of loss of property could not be ascertained at the moment. The chief fire officer added this. Athletes in the city have been given permission by the municipal corporation to practice in their respective stadiums. The government of Maharashtra has given conditional permission to the players to practice and prepare for upcoming event and guidelines for same have been issued in this regard. The directive prohibits the organizations of sport competitions, workshops or training camps at any level. These directives are being implemented by the municipal corporation as per the order of the state government. The Sport and Cultural Department of the Corporation had issued order in this regard on Friday. It is mandatory for all players to follow all the rules regarding COVID-19 pandemic while players follow all the rules regarding COVID-19 pandemic while practicing on the field. Players, parents, coaches are strictly forbidden to come to the practice place if they have symptoms of COVID-19. Various other relevant directives too have been issued by Nagpur Municipal Corporation. Members of Nagpur Municipal Corporation's Nuisance Detection Squad on Friday took action against 117 citizens roaming around the city without masks and recovered a collective fine of Rs 58,500 from them. Masks were also provided to all the citizens. In the last few months, search team have taken action against 24,361 citizens and so far Rs 1 crore 539,500 has been recovered from them. Although the number of corona patients has decreased, the risk of coronavirus infection has not been averted. In urban areas, unmasked citizens are seen walking around. In Friday's action, 21 citizens under Lakshminagar zone, 20 under the Rampet zone, 13 under Hanuman Nagar zone, 8 under Dantoli zone, 8 under Nehru Nagar zone, 9 under Gandhibag zone, 9 under Satranjipura zone, 6 under Lakhraganj zone, 7 under Ashinagar zone and 12 under 
Mangalwar is zone and 2% storm and MC headquarter were fined. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.